Welcome to our class NEET Biology. And today, let us discuss the interaction, population interaction, that is competition. Competition is an interaction where the two species fight for the same natural resource. In this competition, whoever is superior will be winning the competition and other one has to be leaving that habitat or excluded from that habitat. So here it is the process where the fitness of one species is significantly lower in presence of another species. Whoever is the fittest then their population will be flourished. Okay, this competition is of different types that is Interspecific competition and intraspecific competition. Interspe interspecific competition is the competition which is existing between the individuals of two different species. Out of these two, whoever is the fittest will be surviving in that particular habitat. So, competition usually occurs in between closely related species because they have the same limited natural resource. So they have to fight against themselves to, for their food, shelter. Okay. And now there is also the competition between unrelated species. Okay. The example for that is a flamingos as well as the fishes. In some shallow South American lakes, there is competition for the Jew plankton. And so, such a type of competition is called as interference competition. Unnecessarily, one other thing is interfering with the natural habitat of the other species. Though there is abundant availability of natural resource, they were unnecessarily fighting among themselves. Such type of competition is called as interference competition. And here, what are the evidences for this competition means? In the uh, earlier days, there are, uh, in the island, there is much more, that is the Golapogos Island, there were high population of Abingdon tortoise. Whenever the goats were being introduced into this, uh, pop, uh, this place, they, due to this browsing efficiency, these tortoise have been disappeared from that place. And that place was being flourished by the goats. So, whoever is a superior, their population will be uh, surviving there. The others one will be excluded from the population. And the next one is competitive release. Competitive release means now you imagine there is competition between the two species who are sharing the same habitat. Now, in this species, Whoever is the superior one, their population will be flourished than that of the inferior one. Now, in this experiment, the scientist named as Connell, he have been, did an experiment between the two species, that is the superior one, that is Balanus, and the inferior one is Cathamalus, that is the smaller barnacles and Balanus is the bigger barnacle which are growing on the rocky sea coast of Scotland. Okay, so these two are having the severe competition, but out of this, Balanus is the superior one, so their population is flourished. Now, what Connell did is, he had been taken this uh, uh, Balanus from that place, that rocky sea area, so that when the competitor is absent, the population of these small barnacles have been flourished in that particular place. So, this is an example of competitive release. If both the species are being fighting for the nature, same natural resource, if one po population is being taken off from that habitat, the other inferior species will have abundant availability of natural resource, so their population can be increased. And the next one is gas competitive exclusion principle. So, here it states that the two closely related species always compete for the same natural resource and they cannot coexist equally. Okay, out of this competition, inferior one will be eliminated in due course of time due to the limitation of natural resource. 
So, if a species facing competition may evolve the mechanisms of a coexistence rather than resource partitioning. Okay, so they cannot live together for longer durations. Now, what do you mean by this resource partitioning means? Here, it due to the availability of a limited resource by the species to avoid competition, they select different feeding times. One go during the daytime, early morning and some in the other time. So, they schedule differently so that they can uh, share, the, they can change their foraging activities so that they can live in the same habitat without interfering with that of the other species and they avoid the competition. Okay, that was being well explained by the scientist Mac Other. He showed that five closely related species of rabbler birds are living on the same tree which are being having the different foraging activities. Due to their behavior, okay, changing the time schedule, there is no competition among those five species. So that is called as coexistence rather than competition. If you like the video, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to receive further notification. This is Pravalika signing off.